It is Monday again, and over the weekend I sold 11 items for an average price of $35.60 each. Now I'm moving quick today, so I'll get through these as quick as I can. Here's what sold. This is a Sony VHS DVD player. Now this one is broken and is being sold as is for parts. This sold for $42. This is a PetSafe wireless containment uh, receiver. Uh, this sold for $75. This is an Argus 35 to 100 viewfinder um, thing. It fits on top of a camera shoe mount. This little thing sold for $75 as well. A Polaroid camera. This sold for $42. This is a green Artex Fanny Pack. This sold for $13. This is a Milwaukee battery charger. This sold for $15. This is a Philips toothbrush charger. This sold for $10. This is a Starbucks porta filter. This sold for $40. Pioneer DVD player remote. This sold for $20. I'm not going to take this out of the package right now, but this is a Microsoft mouse and receiver. This sold for $25. And I believe this is the last thing. It's a West Bend Poppery 2. Popcorn Popper Coffee Roaster. I always list these a little bit higher than everyone else, and they always sell. This sold for $33. I just finished packaging up four items, getting ready to take those to the post office, and then after that, Haley and I are going to Cape Disappointment, which I love that name. It's in uh, like mid-Washington coast, just a super beautiful area. Uh, last time we were there, uh, Joel was here, and it's just like this beautiful kind of cove or a cape and there's like a nice rock in the center and you'll see it all but first I want to try to tire Mabel out just a little bit so I'm gonna play with her in the yard with her her cat toy her, her dog cat toy her out pretty quickly but it really screws up the yard here's our play circle you're getting all tangled up are you what I'm just trying to see what flavor they are pepperoni pepperoni nice we made a quick pit stop uh, just like 45 minutes into the trip I think all three of us had to pee uh, but you will never believe what I got at this gas station. For $2.79, I got one rock star. <laughs> no deals here. I believe so it. we won't be back, will we? Never. Never. Astoria right now. Stopped at the Safeway. Uh, he's bathroom again. Uh, this is the same area that if you go this way, you run into a bunch of sea lions. So yeah, you park at the Safeway, go to the edge, turn right, and you'll find all the stinky sea lions. But I came over here just because I wanted to try to get a few pictures. And then we'll be on our way. we got a, about 30 more minutes remaining of the drive. Can't tell if anything's exposed correctly. It's just so bright today. These are pretty cool. You got like the large, what are they called, like tanker boats out there? Made it 
having a little bit of trouble finding the spot that we were at last time. Uh, nevertheless, we found a spot. We're gonna go check it out. Of course, Mabel's doing her thing. Right now, we gotta navigate through all of these pieces of wood to get to the sand. These look like giant bones. Just so much driftwood. All right, made it past all the driftwood. Now, now the next area is these rocks to get past. Not much further. And we'll be in the land of the free. Is that what it's called? Land of the free? Yeah. Yes. We made it. I'm gonna try to let her off the leash in a little bit, but right now. You're kind of free. <laughs> <laughs> Just realized it. Super cool walking on this because there's like the thinnest layer of, of water on top of the sand. Alright, we're gonna let her off right here. She's free. She's free. There we go. Alright. Throw it. The reflection on this is so beautiful. We put Mabel back on a leash because there was another dog for a second. We'll get her back off soon. I just grabbed a piece of seaweed out of here and Mabel jumped through the whole thing to try to get it. So far I'm not seeing any life in here besides the seaweed and the dog. Yeah. I'll feel it. No. It's not, it's not ice though. Here, I'll taste it. <laughs> it's not salty. Oh, so she could drink it then? I suppose so. I've been learning a lot about seaweed and which kinds we can eat, which I think is most of them. I definitely need to do more research, but it'd be fun to, to harvest our own seaweed. To feel such a cool breeze On your feet to feel such a cool breeze. Made our way to the uh, the big rock, looking for animals in this tide pool. Bunch of mussels. Bunch of mussels and seaweed. Haley found something cool. I'm coming. Watch out for this tide that might be starting to roll in. Oh wow! What did you find? A fucking cave. So cool. This is so cool. And then right next to the cave, there's a bunch more mussels and barnacles this time.
Yeah, it'd be so cool to have a kayak. Yeah, and just just uh, go back into this cave. It smells so good. I know, I love the smell of the ocean. It's like concentrated, but not in any kind of gross, like fishy smell. It's just perfect. Shouldn't go investigate that. <laughs> that was <laughs> hey, well, tell us what's back there. What is it? Okay, so we're finished up at this area. We gotta travel over these monster rocks again, and then we're gonna try to go to a different area of disappointment, Cape Disappointment. Okay. Oh, careful. Can you get over that? She's trying. You got it. You got it. There we go. You're so good. Whoa. Oh god, Jordan, help her out. I'm helping her. There we go. <laughs> We're all gonna be beat up by the time we get out of this. Okay. There we go. Get my balance again. Nice. And then at the end of all the drift area here, you see like all the tiny pieces of little plastic that flowed in from the ocean. Yeah. So many little tiny chunks. A bunch of styrofoam. But uh, yeah, we're almost to the end of this. Go ahead. Hey, well, here we go. Come on, pup. You got this. Scary. You got it, baby. You got it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's scared. Can you help her? She's got something I sucked her paw. I almost lost my whole burrito. Mm -hmm. Hope you can see him up there. There's two eagles. So we might have made it to the right area. I don't remember anything about where we're trying to go except for the actual spot. I don't remember like the parking area or the walk to get there. There we go. Yeah, I can't, I can't see too well, but we were right in, in that area earlier. This is not the area that we were expecting, but an amazing view, regardless. Got about 30, 40 minutes till sunset. Okay. It works. Works. It, looks, it doesn't look real. It's very blurry. Adjust it. You, I think that knob at the top. What? Turn to clear vision. There you go. Whoa. See walrus? No. I can see closer to the ship. That's cool. I want to do it. You have a quarter? Yep. Okay. Can you see through it? Kind of. This is Fort Canby right here. Ooh. Cool. Stupid game.
took another trail trying to find this specific spot and I mean I'm pretty sure it's on this trail but the trail splits a few times and we're not sure which way to go and the sun is setting like right now as we speak at 740 so I'm not going to continue just searching for it in the woods and have it get darker and darker but it's a spot I've been thinking about a lot and I want to come back and find it soon camp yep okay we're just heading back to the car and